Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from BTN HD, and yes, I had to replace a hard drive on a late 2009 iMac. Yes, a late 2009. Uh, so as you guys can see in the video, I'm placing two suction cups at the upper corners of the iMac, and the reason why is because I gotta actually pull the display to get to the screws that I need to unscrew. Uh, it took me a while to do it. I had to put some force into it. It's really hard, especially if the iMac is constantly moving back and forth uh, but once you get it out it's pretty easy you lift up make sure you put it to the side and keep it safe uh, as you guys can see I'm just putting it inside and next thing that you need to do is get a specialized T8 screwdriver to unscrew the, the screws now there's four on the left side and four on the right side uh, one of the things that kind of I kind of found kind of difficult is because the screws are close to the magnets as soon as you remove it they're either going to fall inside the iMac or they're going to kind of get stuck within the magnet. But it's pretty simple. Once you get all four of them removed from one side, just go to the next side and remove it. Now, next thing that you need to do is remove the display. Now, the kit came with a nice little plastic kind of hook thing. Uh, I had it go in between the corners. Make sure you don't touch the screen because you, the finger, the oil on your fingertips will kind of get the screen all messed up. Uh, but... When you're removing it, make sure you don't pull it because there's a bunch of cables attached to the monitor. Uh, as you guys can see, I already took the second one out. There's additional, there's about two more that you have to remove. Uh, there's one that's close to like the sensor chip that kind of tells you the temperature of the monitor. And uh, the one closest to this side right here, which I'm going to remove right now, is uh, the main source of the monitor. Now again, there's four cables that you have to remove. Uh, please be careful how you remove it because I felt like I was, if you're going to pull it the wrong way, you're going to pull the wires out of the socket and that's not the way that you want to do it. Now, with the hard drive, it's right in the middle and there's two screws that you have to remove. Once you take those two screws out, you basically have access to the hard drive. Now, as you guys can see, I took the last screw out and next thing that I'm going to do is look around and remove the SATA cables. Now, the SATA cables, there's two of them. One that gives you the direct connection to the computer, and another one that gives you the power source. So make sure you put that to the side. And uh, the next cable, I'm not, there's another cable right there, and that is your sensor. That's the temperature sensor of the hard drive. So remove that guy out and put the hard drive to the side. Now, I also took the temperature sensor because with the kit, it does come with a sensor module that you need to attach, especially if you have a hard drive that you're replacing and it doesn't have that extra port. Uh, you might have to replace that temperature cable. So right now I'm taking it out of the socket. Again, it took me a while to remove it. It's really hard because it's small. So with the old hard drive, you got to take these two screws out. Once you take those two screws out, you want to place it on your new hard drive. Okay, so I'm taking the second one out. Again, I'm using the T8 screwdriver, which is a specialized screwdriver to remove these guys. Gotta love Apple having these specialized things. And again, I'm gonna insert it with the new guy. I'm gonna screw it in on one side, and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. All right, so the next thing that you need to do is a bracket system, and that bracket system is what locks the hard drive within the iMac so you got to remove that as well and transfer it over to your new hard drive which I'm doing right now there's two screws once you remove the bracket put that old hard drive to the side and then place that bracket with the new hard drive which is pretty simple pretty straightforward again screw it on make sure it's nice and tight and what you're going to do is you know put it inside those two slots and make sure it's not trapping any cables. You're gonna put the two SATA cables, the power supply and the connection to the side. We're gonna connect it. And right now what I'm doing is connecting that specialized sensor module. Uh, one connection goes to the SATA, which is connected to the computer, and the, other con and the other connection goes directly into the hard drive, which I'm doing right now. And now uh, there's, a, there's a nice little sticker kind of thing, and that little chip, it's the sensor, so you want to try to put it right in the middle of where the hard drive kind of spins. And then the other end goes inside the controller to connect the sensor. It's really weird, 
But the reason why this kit has that is because not a lot of hard drives come with the extra port to connect the module. So once you have everything up and running and you screw your hard drive in, you want to put the monitor, make sure you put all the cables in the correct location because if not, nothing's going to work. I did find myself having trouble with one of the cables and that's the reason why I had to like position myself differently to get in there. But once you have all the cables up and running, it's good to go. So right now I'm trying to figure out how to get that, that skinny little cable in it because it's really hard. And uh, I also forgot to screw down the hard drive. So make sure before you put the monitor and hook up the cables that you screw up the hard drive. I forgot to do that. But uh, once I got that up and running, that was pretty easy. I put in the last cable. And then uh, what you want to do is make sure you just lay it down. It fits with no problem. And then start screwing those uh, T8 screws. Remember, there's four of them in each side. Make sure they're nice and tight. And the last thing that you need to do is place the monitor. So what you're going to do is put it on the adjacent, put it down, and it's going to snap in. And then what you want to do is release the suction cups, and then you're good to go. Overall, guys, it was a great experience replacing a late 2009 iMac. I can't believe I still have a late 2009 iMac in the office. I had to get it up and running pretty soon for a new hire.